CCC Natural markets more than 90% of our fresh produce is organically grown, and we offer plenty of other organic options throughout our stores. Over the summer, our video crew visited four of our local growers and producers to learn more about their organic practices. At Pure Era Dairy in Othello, Washington, Richard and Jill Smith have a motto, Go Beyond Organic. They keep their herd of Jersey cows on organic forage year-round to maximize the health benefits to both cow and milk drinker. Beyond Organic to us means going, taking it a step further and feeding grass 100% of the time, no grain at any time. And in the organic world, you can still feed organic grain, organic flax, organic hay, and still have cows confined and be organic. And this is really showing that there's another, the next level where cows are out year round on grass, no grain ever. Calves are on the cows. And as you can see, you can't get happier animals than this. At River Valley Organics in Tenasket, Washington, George and Apple Audi use a variety of natural techniques to keep their apple, pear, and cherry orchards free of pests. One method is to create a habitat for beneficial insects that eat the pests that eat the fruit. This is a trick that we learned from somebody from Canada and we call it earwig habitat. And see, see all the earwigs under there? For some reason, they like this wadded up newspaper. There could be some inside too. You just crumple up newspaper in the spring and put it in the crotch of the tree and it attracts the earwigs. And even though other crops and farmers of other crops don't like earwigs to be in their crops, in a pear tree, it's a good thing because one of the, the problems with pears sometimes is a, um, a bug called a pericilla, and it can make the pears uh, kind of drippy, sooty looking, and so the earwigs eat pericilla. And that's why we like to attract the earwigs by providing them a little home in the crotch of the pear tree, and it works really well. Lapeer Farms in Zillow, Washington, also looks to natural predators for help with pest control. His team installed homes for kestrels, a small breed of falcon. Kestrels keep away the smaller birds that otherwise would devour his blueberry crop. As we were talking about uh, the challenges of bird control in, in blueberries, we, we thought about it. There's, there's so many different tools out there. There's, you know, you can make noises, you can have people in the blocks all the time. But the kestrels really are the first project that been successful at bird control. Mm -hmm. And it's just that they're here all the time. So we actually have a, a nesting pair in each block, which is fantastic, really. Nearby at Scott Leach Farms in Zilla, Scott and his son Jeff use natural pheromones to keep pests at bay in the plum orchards. And this is what the pheromone looks like right here. Actually, there's, we put them on every year. We try to keep them low because the pheromone that emits from this tube is heavier than air. And so when it emits out, it comes down and basically floods this area around the trunk of the tree, which is where the peach tree borer likes to come in and lay its eggs to do its damage. And it's a really very effective pheromone.